Hello, game developers. Long time no see. I'm thrilled to introduce a brand new plugin designed to supercharge your game development process in Unreal Engine. This powerful tool is called the Dialogue Widget, and it's packed with features like a cinematic dialogue system, visual novel style dialogues, dynamic camera control, and much more. The best part? It's incredibly easy to implement, thanks to its intuitive data table logic for handling choice-based systems. Let's dive right in. First, download the ready-built template from the GitHub repository. The link is in the description below. Simply click on code, and then download Zeep. This template is built for Unreal Engine 5.3. Once downloaded, navigate to the Content folder, where you'll find a subfolder named Love Story Content. Feel free to play around in the viewport to explore all the functionalities of the dialogue widget. Now let's break down each feature one by one, starting with the Visual Novel Style Dialogue System. To create a new data table, right-click in the content browser, select Miscellaneous Greater Than Data Table, and choose the dialog structure. Open DT underscore dialog. Don't be intimidated by the structure. It's simpler than it looks. Here's how it works. Dialog IDs. These must match to ensure dialogues play in sequence. Dialog Choice IDs. For choice-based logic, set these to a value greater than zero. Background Image. This sets the background for your scene. Left Sprite Image and Right Sprite Image. These display characters based on the speaking setting left or right has choices. Check this box to enable a list of choices. The logic is straightforward. The dialogue progresses based on the choice ID. It's as simple as that. Now let's take a look at the dialogue UI open SUI underscore dialog. In the class settings, you'll notice the parent class is set to dialog widget. Switch to the designer tab. Here you'll find the choice list, which uses UI choice BTN with the parent class of choice list item widget. You also have a variety of widgets to customize, such as Sprite Image Write, Dialog Text, and more. Click on SUI underscore Dialog to explore its properties. In the left panel, you'll see a data table parameter. This is where you assign your dialog data. There are also additional properties like Dialog Mode, set to Auto, manual, or other modes. Next line, delay, controls the delay between lines in auto mode. Dialogue sound, adds sound effects for a more immersive experience. Now let's see how to implement the dialogue system in your game. Open the level blueprint. Create a widget using SUI underscore dialog, add it to the viewport, and call the start dialog function. Set the dialog mode to auto, enable display BG, and include the character's name. Play the viewport, and voila! The dialogue system is up and running, powered by SUI underscore dialogue and the start dialogue function.
Next, let's explore how to integrate dialogue with NPCs. Open B, P, N, P, C, Love Story. Here, when the player presses the Interact button, the dialogue begins. The system checks if interaction is possible before starting. You can also use BP underscore hint to display hints when the player hovers over the interaction sphere. Set the hint text and ensure the widget class is set to SUI underscore hint. The logic is simple. A condition checks for interaction, and then the start dialog function is called with the dialog ID set to zero. When the player interacts, the dialog launches seamlessly. Now let's dive deeper into choice-based dialogues, similar to games like The Witcher. Open DT underscore dialogue choice. The setup is similar to what we've seen before, but with added logic for choices. I've prepared a specialized UI for this. SUI underscore dialogue choice. Open the graph tab to explore its functionality. Here you'll find custom events like on choice selected, triggered when a choice is clicked. On dialogue finished, fires when the dialogue ends. On dialogue updated includes three parameters for custom animations or other effects. Play the scene to see the results in action. Now let's talk about the dynamic camera system. Take a look at this box. It's the logic behind BP underscore dialogue scene. It consists of a box component and two scene components which define the camera's position and rotation. In BP NPC, you'll find the update camera view function, which is called during start dialogue. Play the scene to see the dynamic camera in action. And that's it. You now have a fully functional dialogue system that you can customize to fit your game's unique style. The possibilities are endless. Whether you're aiming for a Zelda-style adventure, a Witcher-inspired RPG, or a classic visual novel, this system has you covered. I've designed it to be as simple and flexible as possible, so you can focus on bringing your creative vision to life. Thank you for watching. I'm working on some exciting updates, so stay tuned. Don't forget to follow me for more tutorials and tools to elevate your game development journey. Until next time, happy developing.